What's happening guys, Josh from EverydayFBA.com and I recently made the switch from Aweber over to System.io. I made a full video comparing the two, which you can go ahead and watch that one first. I'll link it up top right now. But what I need to do now is import my existing contacts from Aweber over into System.io so that I can finally go ahead and close my Aweber account. In today's video, I'm going to show you step by step how to do exactly that. All right, guys, let's get into it. This should be pretty simple and straightforward process. First thing I wanna do is locate the list that I wanna go ahead and take those subscribers from. In this case, it's gonna be my everyday YouTube. Uh, we're gonna click on subscribers and I'm gonna click on currently subscribed. So I get a list of every single person that is currently subscribed right now, 1,700 people. I'm gonna scroll all the way down and look for export CSV. I'll just simply click on that button and that list of 1,700 email addresses is going to be downloaded onto my computer that you see here. Now the majority of these columns we're definitely not gonna need, so I just like to delete all of this. And I want to be left with the email address, the name, and the date that this contact subscribed to my emails. Once you got that extra information cleared out, go ahead and hit that save button. Now we're going to go over to system.io under the contacts header here. Click on that. And right here on the top right corner, you're going to have import contacts. We're going to click on that one as well. And here is where we can upload that CSV file. So we'll click on this choose our file, hit open, and we're gonna leave this at comma. And now we have the option to subscribe to an existing campaign. I'm not gonna do that since these subscribers have already been through my campaign over on Aweber. Next, you're gonna hit on choose data, click on that, and you'll be giving the first full rows so that you can identify what these rows are. The first one being the email address, this one here being the first name, and my last column is going to be the date that they subscribed. Select contact registered date column. I'll click on that. And then I'm simply going to hit import. And these 1700 contacts will be imported into my system.io account. So let's give it a click here. We're going to import this. It says importing contacts. This could take a few minutes. If you scroll down a little bit. You can see the import date and time, how many have officially been imported and how many they are, whether or not it's approved and whether or not there are any invalid rows. If we refresh this page, we should start to see some more people get registered. There you go. You can now see that 500 of those 1700 emails have been imported into my system.io account. So we'll just give this a few more minutes to make sure that we get all 1700. All right, folks, it's officially done. 1713 contacts have been imported to my system.io account. I did have one invalid row. Let me check on that and see what that actually is. It looks like there was one bad email address on this list. It says contact email address is invalid. So it is very, very important to make sure that you clean your list before you import. You don't want a ton of invalid rows. You will get your account temporarily froze until you clear that up. So it does have this header here that says you are about to import new contacts into your account. Be aware you should only import contacts who gave you their permission. A high percentage of complaints will get your account blocked. So be sure to clean your list, which is what I actually did here over on Aweber. I removed my inactive subscribers. I removed, cleaned up the list and made it as nice and tight. I previously had closer to 3000 subscribers, but as you see, I cleaned it, trimmed it down, made sure it was the best of the best to go ahead and import those over here to system.io. Back on the system.io dashboard, you can actually see how it filled out the first half of July for me with those subscribers that I imported. Previously, it was only registering around here at the end of July and through August because this is when I actually started using the software. But because I put that subscribe date with my import list, it's actually recording the dates in the past. So that is actually 
pretty cool. Guys, if you're looking to build an online presence, to build a website, to create a funnel, to create a course, to create a blog, if you want to sell stuff just like Shopify does, go ahead and check out system.io. They offer a 100% free plan that comes with all the features you need to build a business online. It's way better than AWeber ever could be, and it's half the cost of what AWeber charges. Go ahead, grab your free plan today with the link in the description. When you do that, shoot me an email at hi at everydayfba.com. I'll be happy to get you set up and get your business started with system.io. My name is Josh. Everydayfba.com is the website. I'll catch you guys on that next one. Peace.